Location, location, location. The number one rule for real estate is also true for photography. Greetings Paradise Hunters, my name is Josh Cripps and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. Now I'm fond of saying that a killer photo needs four elements to be successful, a fascinating subject, compelling composition, impeccable camera technique, and beautiful light. Now composition skills can be developed, camera technique can be learned, and light can be chased. But how do you find a subject, the true meat and potatoes of your photo? Here are a few tried and true techniques that I've used to discover great places for photography. First of all, the easiest and most obvious way is to connect with other photographers. Whether that's via an online community like 500px, a Facebook group for wildflower hunters, or your local camera club, getting active in a photo community will let you reap many rewards. You'll see amazing photos and find out where they were taken. You'll find friends to plan trips with, and you'll also get tips on the best times to shoot certain spots. For example, for this shot, I had heard from friends that Badwater Basin in Death Valley National Park was flooded, so I jumped in the car and drove out to see for myself. Now this is great if you want to shoot well-known locations, but what if you're keen to find your own places to shoot? Well then... The easiest way to start finding your own locations is simply to explore further afield from a known photo hotspot. For example, Yosemite is a world-class scenic destination, and you can probably name the top five locations off the top of your head. But because 95% of photographers will only ever visit those five iconic locations, if you're willing to walk a mile further down the trail, follow a cascade deeper into the forest, or see what the view is like from the top of a dome, I can all but guarantee you're gonna find jaw-dropping, but totally unique shots. So the next time you find yourself in a well-known location, be willing to wander up and over the next hill to see what you find. You can also discover photo locations by letting curiosity and chance guide you. Turn down a random dirt road and see where it goes, take a new trail, or even follow a new route to the grocery store. You never know when that sweet shot is going to jump out at you. This photo only exists because I followed Forest Service roads to the top of a small mountain on a whim. Then on the way back down, I spied this patch of engaging manzanita. And this area I stumbled upon purely by dumb luck. While driving down the highway, I saw a dirt road that wandered toward some interesting rocks, and I went to check it out. When I'm exploring a new area, I love to ask the locals, what's your favorite off the beaten path hike or your favorite special place? It's a great way to escape the crowds and find your way to locations you'd never otherwise know about. For example, here's a cool little slot canyon in Zion National Park that a ranger told me about. And this shot is from Cinque Torre in the Dolomites, a place I only visited because I asked an Italian photographer what his favorite areas to shoot were. For more remote locations, I often spend hours poring over detailed topo maps or perusing the landscape on Google Earth. Then when I find something promising, be it a mountain, a river, a lake, a canyon, or even an interesting pattern on the ground, I turn to Google image search and type in the name of whatever I found. Even if only a few hardy hikers or fishermen have been to the place, their snapshots can give you a huge amount of pre-scouting information, such as what is the terrain like, what are the main features of the area, and give you an idea of some possible compositions and even the direction of light at a certain time of day. And knowing all that gives you a massive advantage over exploring the place blind. When you go out searching for locations, be prepared that you're not always going to find something amazing, but you will find something new, and that fun of discovery carries its own rewards. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. 
You can also jump on our newsletter to get the latest photo tips and techniques. Check out some of our other popular videos. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.